Hey, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. On today's Unify video, we are going to take one of our mesh units, and we are going to plug it into port number 8 on that Unify Switch 8. Now, this is just the Switch 8 that has the one PoE pass-through port, uh, so if you're powering it with a standard uh, PoE, you can pass that through to that port, or if you're using the power adapter you can enable that. So I'm going to take uh, the mesh 8P, we're going to put it over here and we're going to plug into port number 8 which is that PoE out port. So what we've got to do is log into our controller and we will enable the PoE on that port on that Unify Switch 8 so you'll see how we do that. So you can see from the dashboard we have our one WAN device, our one LAN device. We're going to come into our lab switch 8. We're going to go into ports. We're going to come down here to port number 8 and under PoE it says off. We're going to edit this port and under PoE we're going to click pass through and apply. And now what you're going to notice here in a second is this port number 8 is actually going to light up. And then we'll get a status here. You can see the switch is reprovisioning uh, re that change. And I'm looking at the switch and the LED is on. And any minute we should be able to get a glowing dot here on the... Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the access point. Let me shut the light off. See if you can, uh, yeah, see it? Yeah, the lighting's not the best there, but what I wanted to show you is that we are indeed powering the access point. Oh, you can see it there. It's not too bad. So we'll go ahead and set that guy out of the way. We'll refresh everything here and you can see now that on uh, port 8 we're connected at a gigabit um, and we have we have uh, PoE. We're going to open up our Ubiquity Discovery tool, go to Unify Family. We see the Unify APAC Mesh it is in a pending state. So we'll bring up the action. And by the way, um, we didn't kind of we didn't go over this when we adopted the switch, but some of the options in this discovery tool are we have set, inform, locate, which will blink the LED. We can reboot, we can restore the device to factory default, or we can upgrade. In this case, we are going to set the inform. So we'll go ahead and execute that. And then we'll come over here to our controller and we'll refresh. And now we have an access point that is pending adoption. So we'll go ahead and adopt this access point. Well, while we're waiting for that, if you remember correctly, when we set the controller up, we created this HowLab Wi-Fi with a WPA pre-shared key and our security key is not a chance you'll guess this key so we'll connect a device to this once the access point is provisioned and we'll see what happens so we're still adopting okay we are provisioning and we're connected and we have an upgrade so before we do anything else We'll go ahead and upgrade this mesh unit. Okay, so we upgraded and now we are provisioning. Okay, we are now connected. The first thing I want to do is I want to bring up this access point. I want to go to configuration. I want to give it an alias, something... Uh, Let's 
So lab mesh AC. I think that uh, pretty much gets the point across what that device is. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to give it a static IP. And so it, the lab mesh AP is going to go ahead and reprovision and take those changes. Now, right now, by default, uh, all of the settings on this are auto when we come over to the radios. So you see that the uh, channel width is HT20, but the channel is auto. The transmit power is auto. So this thing, um, you know, we'd have to dig into it a little bit more to see where it's at, but it's probably, I'd imagine blasting pretty good um, but what I want to do is I actually want to pick my phone up here and we are going to look for the Wi-Fi network okay so I see how lab Wi-Fi And let's see if I can, okay, it says it's connecting. That's fantastic. We are connected. So now we should be able to come over here to clients. Okay, so you see how family, which is the desktop, and that's on lab switch port number three. And now you see my phone is connected to the how lab Wi-Fi on the lab mesh AC. So now what we're going to do is we are going to hop over to map and then topology and look at this so i'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it but you we've got the lab usg at the front we've got the lab switch 8 connected to the lab usg then we have the lab mesh ac connected to the lab switch and then we have this android phone that is connected also off a of lab switch uh, 8 we see the how family computer so we can click on that bring up information about the machine uh, but then off of the, the lab mesh AC we have and the Android machine which is my phone and we can do the exact same um, configuration options there so look look at this so if somebody's like can you provide an, a map of your network boom it's starting to build it out now Admittedly, this could get busy depending on the size of your network, but Ubiquity is working to refine this and they're taking user suggestions on the community and they are really fine tuning this and it is going to be a fantastic tool. Um, it's a fantastic tool now, but it's, so it's only going to get better. So where we've been was we started with a cloud key. We added a USG, we added a switch, we added an access point. Um, we've you know done some base configuration so what we're gonna do on the next unify video which uh, the next video that I'm gonna post I'm gonna go to um, every other video is gonna be about unify and then I've got other things that I want to talk about that I that I think you'll like too but we're gonna start drilling down into the unify configuration um, and look at other features and other configuration options uh, we're going to look at more than just like this topology view like we're going to talk about you know signal strength and channels and you know how do you configure that and why do you configure that we're going to talk about EIRP we're going to talk about min RSSI we're going to talk about um, how min uh, RSSI you know deals with roaming and clients and uh, we're really going to start you know building um, your Wi-Fi knowledge and your RF knowledge and things like that. So um, if you like a video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get to them. If you've got suggestions for things you want to see in the controller, let me know. Uh, otherwise, please come back and uh, we'll see you at the next video.